Alternative Energies did the work for us, and they put together those pamphlets for you. Uh, they said that typical cost savings is about 70% of what you're paying for heating. Um, the system cost $20,000. And through uh, the fat, for tax credits, we got seven thousand dollars back, and I think also got uh, several hundred dollars from Focus on Energy. So two different things. And the Alternative Energies uh, gave us all the records we needed for filing for that. Um, it was nice. We um, did insulation. You can see we insulated our box sills and spent quite a bit of money on insulation in previous years because we were not a uh, natural gas or electric customer for our heat, we couldn't get that focus on energy uh, rebates on uh, insulation, but then when we became geothermal, they retroactively gave us those rebates back. Mm -hmm. So that was a nice to see that money as I thought I'd get earlier. Mm -hmm. um, it was hard because we were a com combination of wood and oil to have a real exact, like, okay, how much are we saving? But I would keep records of how fast we were burned through oil. And at roughly three dollars for a gallon of oil, um, uh, on a cold day we'd burn, um, I think it was about seven gallons of fuel oil. So that'd be twenty-one dollars for our, um, that heat. And of course we were using electricity to blow the fans and things. So, so comparing my old energy bills from that looks cold months, those were the coldest days spending twenty-one dollars on fuel oil. Our electric bill went up about seven dollars. So per day, per day, yeah. So again, we're right in that about a seventy percent savings on the, the energy cost. Um, but didn't you figure it was like about seven years or so of a payback? Yeah. Pay yeah, I think that's typically quoted about a seven-year payoff. You know, a new construction um, probably is cheaper because you don't have to, you're already doing excavation. Um, I've heard some uh, communities are putting in an extra water line to bring the, uh, instead of having the pond loop, you could just use municipal water and have to get a different line in case any oils from your compressor got into it. I, apparently it would recycle back to the, the municipal plant, but it's kind of a neat uh, futuristic thing because, again, we've got this energy from the ground, basically we're taking it. Um, and what really convinced me was when I took a bike ride a couple years ago, and I got over the ridge and there was that Mount Calvary uh, wind project. It's like, wow, we can you know, heat this house conceivably all locally, because we got locally produced electricity and the heat from the ground. Um, and then one last thing, uh, if I had to do, do it over again, I would have had the contractors include in the bid the removal of the old fuel oil tank. I thought we could just fill it with sand and be done with it. <laughs> and there's a lot more to it where it's got to be uh, formally decommissioned, soil testing under the tank, and uh, you know, records kept at the state just to show they haven't had any more leaks. So that's uh, something they said, well, it only comes up when you go to sell your house, and then the bank won't you know, loan to the other people. You know, so I'm, I'm kind of starting the process, and uh, you know, you just not pull out the tank. It's you know, kind of somebody dropped the ball somewhere. I don't know if it was me or the other contractors. But again, if I would have had alternative energies take care of that, it would have been done. So, and I probably would have gotten the tax credit for that as part of the project.